Hello, welcome to the Lola's Bakery. We're here in West London and we'd like to give you a behind the scenes tour of what we're doing. This is our loading bay. This is the end of the journey of our cupcakes and cakes where all our cakes get loaded onto our trucks, out for delivery to our stores or to your homes. Today, you're gonna to see our baking, our decorating, our stock rooms, our fridges. We're gonna meet our two production managers and you're gonna hopefully have lots of fun. So come on, join me. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Okay, let's get ready to go inside the bakery for your tour. Um, I need a few things before I go inside. The first is one of these magical hair nets, just to make sure that nothing gets strewed away. It's not much to fly away at the moment, but hair nets ready. I'll need some shoe covers. And this is to ensure that I don't bring any germs or anything from the outside into our bakery. Then I'll get my coat. Now before COVID, I'd need to put on a beard snood, but with the mask we have to wear now, no beard snood needed. So this guy's been quite, uh, quite lazy lately. Right, next old step is I'll wash my hands, make sure that I'm nice and clean. I'm not wearing any jewellery other than a plain banded wedding ring. When I'm going into the bakery, no earrings, no necklaces. That's to ensure that nothing can fall into any of the products. Now we've got a knee operated sink here and that's so you don't have to start touching the handles of the sink once you've washed your hands. Okay, I'm suited, I'm booted, got my hat on. Let's go inside the bakery, see what we can see. Here we are at the start of our journey in the Lola's Cupcakes Bakery. This is our dry ingredients room where we keep all our sugar, butter, flour, sprinkles, chocolates and all these great delicious things that go into making our cupcakes taste so delicious. So let's have a look around and see what we can find. Well, there's sugar. Sugar is one of the core ingredients of any good cake. This is a cane sugar. It's homegrown and it's a British sugar that we use. So there's about two pallets here. Each bag is 25 kilos. So it's a really hefty bag if you were to try and lift it. So we're looking at over a ton of sugar just sitting here alone. Um, next we move on to butter. Um, most people think that butter needs to be kept in the fridge, but actually it needs to be kept at room temperature. So when you go to mix it into your icing sugar or cream cheese icing, it needs to be soft, it needs to be malleable. So that's our butter. We get them in 25 kilo blocks, which is a bit more than your 300 gram tub you might have in your fridge at home. We use oil in some of our cupcakes and cakes. So these are our large oil drums as well. Um, there's lots of ingredients in here. So we have this stock system here which allows you to scan any product and it'll tell you how many we've got and when it came in and all sorts of things and that's been really important to us as we've grown and increased the number of items that we have. Um, we use a lot of chocolate here, a lot of confectionery, some well-known brands and some less well-known brands. There are plenty of Oreos that go on our cookies and cream cupcake which is our second most popular cake here. Um, tons of sprinkles. Sprinkles make cakes great. So lots of coloured sprinkles of all different colours and, and origins here. Now these are our cake boards. Now you can order our cakes in all different shapes and sizes and then you can also have different shape and size colored boards. This is just a small part of our stock of colored cake boards. We have them in lots and lots of different colors and sizes. And this is where our cake decorators and cupcake decorators come to grab their cake boards ready to decorate your next cake. Well, we promised you a behind the scenes tour and this is one. So let's go and have a look at where we keep all our packaging. And we've got loads of different cupcakes and cakes and all of those have different packaging requirements. So let me show you where we keep some of it. These are some of our cake boards. Um, we get cake boards by the pallet because we go through that many of them. You can see there's a pallet there, there's a pallet here. Come on in, you might have to fight your way in to get to it. In fact, there's cake boards everywhere. You can see there's tons and tons and tons of cake boards. We've obviously just had a big delivery of cake boards we're stocking up. So not only do we have cake boards up here, we have cake boards downstairs and in the cake room. So as you can see, it's a lot of cake boards. Everything that goes through the post needs a nice postal outer. This is one for our grocery boxes. These are for our cheesecake boxes. These are little pots that all our sprinkles go in. These are all the gloves that we have and keep. And we have to keep stock of this because during the pandemic and certainly with Brexit, it's been harder to make sure that we've actually got all the things that we need to carry on producing. Here you'll find our denim liners. These are what we send some of our chill products out in to make sure they get to the customers in a nice cold condition. These are reusable. You can use these at home for lots of different things. So it's our kind of more sustainable way of sending out chill products, whereas before we used polystyrene. If you've been lucky enough to see flowers from Lola's, we now do a range of flowers and these are just some of our flower boxes. So the moral really of this story is if you've got a bakery, you need a whole lot of space because we never have enough space actually. And you can see that every single thing that we do requires a little bit of space uh, for its own packaging. Here are some of our brownies. These are our brownie outers. These are what I send our brownies in. And these are some of our tins that we send brownies in as well. And this is all our packaging tape. We send a lot of packaging through the post. So this is some of our nice water-based packaging tape, which is a really nice eco friendly way of sending stuff because it means that the customer can recycle not only the box that it comes in but also the tape because it's paper based. Okay let's go and have a look in some of our fridges. We've got quite a big fridge. It's probably a bit bigger than one you've got at home. Let's see what you think. 
It's a bit dark and it's a bit cold in here, but in here we've got our butters, some of our cheeses and some of our icings and some of our chocolate that we store. We get mascarpone cheese, keep all our vegetable margarine here for some of our vegan products and then we've got all our butter. Now we keep some butter ambient, that's the butter we want to use and that's the one you saw downstairs in our dry ingredients room and then we've got butter that's chilled. So we've got plenty of butter, it's about three pallets here uh, of butter. And this is just one of our fridges. We have a raw ingredients fridge, a finished goods fridge and we have to separate that out because of our food safety. But this is just one of the areas we keep some of our products nice and cold. During the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, we launched the grocery side of our business here. This is our grocery packing room. So people can order fruits, vegetables, all nice uh, unpackaged things. Uh, and we put them all nicely together in a nice box and send them out to you. We also do lots of hampers and other things. And this is where all some of the hampers for our celebration range are put together. So this is our, this is our grocery room. And uh, I'd be tempted not to pinch an apple because they are really, really nice. And you can see here some of our fresh scones. These are some of the scones that go into our nice cream tea sets that we do. We're at the entrance to our cupcake decorating room. This is Renata, who's our production manager. She's going to take us inside and show us what's going on. Renata, over to you. And let me show you the cupcake decorating room. This team started around six in the morning, so this production are nearly at the end. So they are getting ready the vegan boxes for the stores, and they put it on the trolley, send it ready to send in the morning. On this side, these guys are helping actually for the cake team because they seem to be busier nowadays. So now they are decorating and personalizing our cheesecakes. On these days, you can see our handwritten cupcakes sent to the stores. These are pre-made and settled for happy birthday and I love you, you can buy them in our stores. On the other side, if we go around, they are doing the last flavors for the regular section. They all set up for the stores. For each stores, we have separate taste and number and they are ready to send. All the customer orders, pre-ordered, we do them in the morning. You can see our stores all set up with the label. They have different colors and each has a different trolley, so make sure they all gonna get what they order. You can see under the boards, each uh, customer orders how they order the cake. They leave the delivery notes underneath to make sure they're gonna be perfect for the customer. So this is our cupcake packing room, where we pack our pre-ordered cupcakes for the customers. You can see that the decorators are making the cupcakes by flavor, and then the packers are putting them on the table so they can reach all of them and put them in the boxes handily. They all attach uh, all the merchandise. You can see we have warriors of candles and different items that you can order through the website. And once it's packed and checked, they put it on the trolleys for the drivers ready to go on the next day morning. And now we arrive to the cake decorating team. These guys are also start around 6 a.m. in the morning. And usually they start with the most difficult cakes, like for example, party cakes and the fantasy cake showgirls. At the moment, that part of the production is finished. So they are all making normal layer cakes. As you can see here, they do the hazelnut. Yeah, this is an icing area. You're gonna go on the other side when we will show you how we make all these beautiful icings. We really take care of our uh, vegan customers and we try to make them always separate. As you can see now, a completely separate tables, they do the vegan production and they do our vegan cakes. Come with me to show you how we pack these beautiful cakes. Okay, this is the cake packing room. I will show you now. These guys are prepared pre-made boxes because the decorators, once they finish the flavor, they're gonna have at the same time a lot of cakes and they have to pack as soon as possible to make sure that we keep the cakes as fresh as we can. So after this, they pack, they check, they label them, they add the merchandise, and then when it's all done, they put it on the trolleys, number trolleys, ready for the drivers to take it in the morning. So we are constantly working to help the planet and we would like to go with paperless with the delivery notes as well. So as you can see on the delivery notes, there is already a barcode. So it's gonna be added on the decorating sheet. So the packers don't need to have this delivery note because this barcode will uh, add for them and all the information on the screen and they're gonna be able to check through the skin and rather than having an extra paper for them. This is Marton who's our production manager. He's been with us seven years and he's gonna take us on a tour inside his bakery and show us what's going on. What are we gonna see today Marton? So you're going to see uh, icing making, cake baking, taking up from the oven and all the good action that leads to a beautiful created cake. Great, right, after you. 
So here we are in the icing section where the guys are preparing to do the, uh, the ganaches. They're doing about 60 kilo of ganache a day and they, uh, we're producing about 600 kilo of icing a day. As you see, they just a freshly made green one at the moment and butters and butters of double cream ready to be turned into ganaches. These are for the humpers and the cream tea, the scones, the croissants, the cookies and the muffins that we produce. And here are the bakers preparing the mini cheesecakes and the cheesecakes. We work with hundreds of mini cheesecakes a day, 11 different flavors. So these are ready to go into the oven. Five of these big uh, ovens are rolling every single day. That's what produces the hundreds, sometimes over a thousand cake a day and the thousands and thousands of cupcakes. As we are half into the day, we have hundreds of cakes already done. They're just waiting to be decanted, all flavors. So I hope you enjoyed our tour with the bakery where Renata and I showed you all the uh, decorating, packing and the baking. And hope to see you as a customer, follow us and enjoy our products.